All right, guys, today we're talking about how to replace the insert in a Murdy number two. So you see I've got a shale one there right now. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. And to start, you just take the pen out. And then once you flip it over, I like to set the journal all the way down on the surface I'm working on. And then you can just unscrew the three bolts that hold the hold the bar in place and hold the book in place. They're very small and very easy to lose. So if you just are careful to make sure to set them to a side that you're able to find them later and that you won't knock them off, that's always, I think, the best choice. Now, you may need to have a little bit of uh, a little bit of force to remove them. We like to screw them in nice and tight. And uh, that Phillips head screwdriver, when you've got a little bit one with a, a shorter uh, stem, it's a little easier to operate. And frankly, I think it works just a little bit better. But you don't have to use that. All right, now that you've got the leather taken apart, you can take that regular book and you want to open it all the way up and that bar will slide right out of the spine there. You want to set that aside so that you can make sure to keep that easy to find. Now you can use any insert that's uh, eight and a quarter by five inches wide or alternatively, if you've got a larger size, you can use one of the other ones. I like to use moleskin. I think that they're the easiest to use and frankly, some of the best quality out there. So all you have to do is open up the package and remove that. Now I like to take and put that elastic band on the inside of the back cover. That way it's not going anywhere. Some people like to cut it off. Some people like to leave it on the front. All you're gonna have to do then is grab that bar and open the book all the way back up, sliding that bar back into place. And then you want to gently close the book so it's nice and even. Then you take the pen that it comes with, it's a Parker Jotter stainless steel, and you use your thumb and you find where that hole in the bar is, and then you just take and you just poke right straight through that spine there. Now there should be three total as there were when you removed it, and all you have to do is use your thumb, your nail, and just find that spot and just push right through. Now you've got three holes that are all in the right places, and you want to line that middle hole up with that middle hole and get that all squared away. You want to be sure to make sure that the front is still facing the front. That's the one of the pen holders. And then that the back is facing the two of the pen holders. Now that you got that lined up and you've got that screw in place, you want to make sure to push pretty hard to kind of get that started. It may have a little bit of resistance and the screw may want to go anywhere up but that hole. But if you can just make sure that you push that right in place and you put a little bit of force in there, it should slide in there no problem. And then once you get that nice and tightened down, you can start in on the next screw. Now because of the, the you might want to kind of make sure that it lines up as well because it may not be quite perfectly centered if that center screw is uh, caused the book, the book to tilt in one direction or the other. But once you get that second screw in, that then it's all lined up and that third screw should go in really nice and easy. Now, like I said before, using a, a short uh, a shorter Phillips head screwdriver often makes it just a little bit easier to have it not kind of go all over the place. And sometimes if you want to take and you're having trouble being able to take that Phillips head screwdriver and just uh, kind of pushing it into the spine to kind of open up that hole a little bit also helps just a little bit. Once you get that third screw in there, I like to make sure that they're all tightened down nice and easy. And you want to kind of, often I like to line them up so that they all kind of face the same direction. I think it just looks a little prettier. But you want to be able to not apply a nice amount of force to get that really, really screwed in there tight. All you're going to have to do at that point is pull the tabs just kind of over that back thing and kind of push that top tab over that front one. You'll get it all lined up. And then you should be able to take your pen and pop it right back into place and you're good to go.